here's everything you need to know about Oppo's latest software update, ColorOS 14, sponsored by Oppo themselves. Last year's ColorOS 13 update was already fascinating. It introduced this new aquamorphic design language that gave all the system elements this water-inspired look. It came with awesome new widgets, huge improvements to the always-on display, and more. This year though, ColorOS 14 has further expanded those same features, brought some new ones, and implemented significant improvements behind the scenes to make the OS feel a lot smarter, smoother, more intuitive, and even safer to use. Now starting with the looks, Opal has elevated the aquamorphic design with notable upgrades to enhance the overall experience. For instance, the aquamorphic coloring system now dynamically adjusts to various scenarios based on the phone's status and time. For example, when the alarm goes off, the background mirrors the current outside sky, adding a mesmerizing touch that seamlessly integrates with your surroundings. It's mesmerizing and makes interfacing with the device much more intuitive, dynamic, and seamless to the world around you. ColorOS 14 also introduces an enhanced level of intuitiveness thanks to its all-new Aqua Dynamics. It leverages off the principles of solids, liquids, and gases to improve certain system elements. For example, when you're screen recording, the real-time notification is now minimized in the status bar as a pill so that it doesn't get in the way. And when you tap on it, it'll enlarge to let you control the recording. I absolutely love it, and it extends beyond screen recording, adapting to various real-time statuses such as timers, phone calls, connected devices, food delivery services, and more. But this aquamorphic theme doesn't just stop the looks and feel of the OS. It also transitions nicely to the sound. That's right, ColorOS 14 gives you new sound styles that match the aquamorphic theme. Within these system settings, under sound and vibration, you can find a whole new section of aquamorphic sounds for your ringtones, alarms, and notifications. I love using these sounds for my alarms because I don't get a rude awakening in the morning like on other phones. It's a lot more gentle. And what's even more impressive is that Oppo collaborated with professional music academics and renowned sound design powerhouses like Sonic Minds and Epic Sound to craft these aquamorphic sounds. It truly shows how committed they are to delivering an exceptional user experience even in the realm of sound. ColorOS 14 also comes with many new features that made the OS much more helpful. One standout addition is the evolution of the always-on display. Building upon ColorOS 13's homeland animations, which portrayed various animals in their natural habitats, dynamically affected by daily temperatures, in order to raise awareness about climate change, ColorOS 14 now introduces the Go Green always-on display. These new animations are meant to encourage you to walk even further to help you reduce your carbon footprint. It has three distinct environment vision options, an earth, a natural environment, and an island. Whichever you set, they begin to evolve and improve through five stages, inspiring a healthy lifestyle while showcasing the direct impact on personal carbon emissions. Basically hoping that you'll walk more instead of driving around and polluting the environment. Another notable feature in ColorOS 14 is the per-app refresh rate setting, allowing users to customize screen refresh rates on an app-by-app -app basis. So rather than setting a global refresh rate, Oppo lets you choose which apps run at 60Hz to save battery and which get the luxury of a 90 or 120Hz experience. Unfortunately, it doesn't always work for every app. Like Google Maps still only runs at 60Hz, even if I manually set it to 90 or 120 but for the majority of other apps, even system ones, it works just fine. Another great feature is this AI-powered smart touch tool that lets you extract any content from any screenshots you take. This includes text and images from inside your system and third-party apps. I even love that you can store the media inside the Notes app or within a new file doc feature found within the smart sidebar. You just have to drag the content to the sidebar to get it saved. This new file doc feature also saves everything to the cloud, syncing the content across all your other Oppo devices. And it lets you quickly transfer any of that media over to some of your other apps. It's super intuitive. I can also do the same thing when using split screen or a floating window. Smart image matting is also a fantastic new feature that lets you lift multiple subjects right out of a photo to be copied and pasted anywhere else as a backgroundless version of that image. It's pretty cool, and something that I've always wished stock Android could have. Some phones out there, like Samsung or the iPhone, let you do the same thing, 
but with ColorOS 14, you can lift up to six subjects at once. Apple and Samsung limit you to just one at a time, whether it's just a single person or an entire group clumped together. ColorOS 14 also does a way better job of detecting each subject in a photo and accurately cutting them out, even if they're a bit more complex, like furry animals. Once they are cut out, they can be viewed and edited in the File Pocket, File Doc, or some other apps. This one's minor, but the Notes app now has expanded text formatting options, including bold, italic, underline, highlighting, alignment adjustments, and more. Plus, I'm happy to say that these formatting changes are also available across older ColorOS versions, provided that the Notes app is up to date. ColorOS 14 also supports PhoneLink, an application developed by Microsoft that lets you easily sync and mirror your phone's screen to your Windows computer. It's a fantastic way to multitask, especially if you have a giant monitor. Now, aside from new features and design tweaks, ColorOS 14 has many new changes found underneath the hood that help improve the overall performance. And the key ingredient behind all these changes is a new Trinity engine. This powerful new tool efficiently manages computing resources, memory, and storage to make the UI much smoother and quicker. Plus, according to Oppo, it should help devices perform a lot better in the long haul. To get a bit more detailed, the Trinity engine has three key features. ROM vitalization, RAM vitalization, and CPU vitalization. The ROM vitalization feature can save your device up to 21 gigabytes of storage space by letting you compress apps and file data within the phone manager settings. This feature combines compression, file defragmentation, and memory acceleration techniques helping to also combat sluggish performance as the phone ages. RAM vitalization, as you can probably guess, accelerates the memory to make the OS feel a lot more efficient, especially when running multiple apps at once. It will even let you run more apps in the background for up to 72 hours, which is pretty impressive. Plus, Oppo has tweaked the base RAM mechanics found within stock Android with their proprietary tech to make apps launch quicker and make transitioning between apps feel a lot smoother and I can definitely feel the difference. Finally, CPU vitalization is the last piece of the puzzle to make the OS feel a lot smoother. It uses sophisticated computing power to find a good balance between battery life and raw performance. That way, you can have the best of both worlds, a smoother experience and a great battery life. And with all these new tools, I can definitely feel a slight improvement in performance. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I'm sure in the long run, it'll help out a lot in terms of performance. ColorOS 14 also made the charging much smarter. It now uses some new AI algorithms to automatically adjust the charging current based on your phone's status, which should extend the battery's longevity. Additionally, ColorOS 14 has a new Arctic mode, which increases the battery's temperature whenever you're in cooler environments so that the phone charges as optimally as possible. Pretty smart. And if you really like to get aggressive, Oppo now lets you stop the charging at 80% within the battery health settings so that you can minimize any battery wear. It's not a bad idea if you still want your Oppo phone to have a healthy battery a few years from now. As for privacy and safety, Oppo also didn't disappoint. The photo editor has this new feature called Auto Pixelate, which makes it really easy to automatically block out avatars and names within any screenshots of a chat. Best yet, this feature is done entirely on the device using Oppo's processing and image recognition software, which is already baked into the phone. Super useful. And of course, you still get every standard Android 14 privacy feature, such as improved permissions. Whenever an app wants to access your photos and videos, you can choose which media it can look at instead of letting it see everything. Plus, you can force most apps to request new permissions each time they want to access your photos and videos. Oppo calls it Picture Keeper, but it's also found within stock Android 14. And there you have it, all the new features and perks found within Oppo's latest software update, ColorOS 14. It's not as drastic as what we got with last year's ColorOS 13 update, but I'm, I'm still a fan. It's more of a refinement of an already great Android operating system, making the UI feel a lot smoother, more intuitive, and still providing a few new bells and whistles. I give it a thumbs up. If you want to know if your Oppo device is getting ColorOS 14, here is the rollout timeline. Some Oppo devices like the Find N2 Flip, Find X5 Pro, and Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G have even already received it since the last quarter of 2023, 
So check within your system settings to see if it's already there. Anyways, click this video right here to see all the features and changes that came with last year's ColorOS 13 update. That's a fantastic video. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!